Lynn, to stand on the sidelines and watch this USC Trojan team become Rose Bowl champions after what they've been through, how was that? Well, it, it was exciting. It was as close as I've ever been to having my heart in my throat and not be a player on the field. Uh, it was a great finish to this team. Their grit, their determination, they don't give up. They keep coming after it. There was time on the clock, and there was hope in their hearts, hope in their game. And at the end, the game was theirs. And to see these guys out there, you, I mean, you listened to them. What was that like, the, just the emotion on the sidelines when they were down and to come back? Well, this is the final game of the season. You know, this is for the Rose Bowl. This is what you play for. This is a great memory, especially for the seniors who have been here four or five years and haven't gotten to this bowl game. And then to finish with this exclamation mark, to start one and three and have people doubt you, to have a coach that gave these guys uh, encouragement to continue to grow and to get better and to keep their focus, to keep their heart and minds in the game and to get them to a point where they could beat Colorado, beat Washington, get the ranking, get to the Rose Bowl, and then beat a very good Penn State football team with no time on the clock. Heart, I go into battle with these guys any day. Remember that one forever. Now only the 13th USC team to beat UCLA, beat Notre Dame, and hold up that Rose Bowl trophy at the end of the season. This one for the record books, right? Yeah, uh, it's, 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 the, it's, it's the bell, the shillelagh, and the Rose Bowl trophy. We like the trifecta. <laughs> That's right. Wouldn't have it any other way. We'll send it back to you guys.